Here's another idea from Mrs. Welch, and it's the Homo Polar Motor, and it was the first DC motor ever to be created, I believe, and it was demonstrated by Faraday in the early 1800s. And I'm using a power source here as a AA battery, and there's a single piece of copper wire going from the positive terminal around the battery down to the negative, which is sat on top of two neodymium magnets. And that copper wire just touches the neodymium magnet at the bottom just really lightly. So the current flowing through the copper wire results in the electromotive force at right angles to the magnetic field from the, those neodymium magnets and therefore that turns the copper. It is of course creating a direct short across the battery and therefore the battery can get a little bit warm and I'm sure this is pretty inefficient. I'd suggest using depleted batteries that are taken from electronics that won't use them anymore. Those ones that you're saving to put in clocks, you know the ones. So to create this I used another battery here, this is one of those claimed 3000 milliamp hour nickel metal hard drives and I put about four or five levels of gaffer around it there and that just gives a perfect template to uh, wrap your wire around a AA battery or slightly larger than a AA battery and therefore that gives you just about the right size to create this homopolar motor. And uh, the neodymiums I used are these ones. I think they're eight millimeters across by about four millimeters tall. And I used two of them on the negative side of the battery. And here's the wire I used. It's uh, SWG18, 1.25 millimeter bare copper wire. And uh, it does take quite a long time to get the centre of gravity correct. I think this one took me about 20, 25 minutes um, so that it sits centrally on the battery and just touches those magnets on the bottom. But time well spent, I thought. This might be a nice little project to do with your kids over Christmas. And of course, now I've got an additional Christmas decoration for the solar shed. Well, you did know that was a Christmas tree on top of here, didn't you? Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.